What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. I realized in the process of editing this video that I do not have an intro. So this is what we're gonna do right now. I had another trip out with Luck of the Irish Fishing Guide Service and had an absolute amazing time once again. I want you guys to go down in the description below and look at all his social media, follow all of his social media, and be sure to book a trip as well because you will catch a boatload. I'm being serious, a boatload of fish, and you will see that right here in this video. This is going to be a catch, clean, and cook style of video, and I enjoy doing these for you guys. I don't do them often enough, as a matter of fact. So that's what um, I'm getting ready to do is film the cooking portion of this video, but I had to get this intro rolling in here for you guys. And you need to stay tuned all the way to the very end because we are doing a fishing trip giveaway that you do not want to miss. Let's get into this. It's a hard hit, too. We're doing it. Size of Sandy. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's oh my goodness. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I feel head shakes. There's a fish on there somewhere. There's the digs. Double, another double, another <laughs> double biggin'. <laughs> what are we doing here? Come <laughs> on, the scriber. That's Not Sandy. Sandy. Sandy, right? Big Sandy. Now that's some Sandy right there. <laughs> You want a glove? I I'm got right. plenty. I'm alright, thank you. You bet. Nice chunks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Haystack. <laughs> wow. Oh, Miss Debbie. She took up. I think I am too. Nice. There we go. Triple on. <laughs> three lot, three rods in, three fish on. Perfect. Maybe oh. more. <laughs> oh, Thanks, oh, That's a much harder fight. Can we have a double again? Probably. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? Nope. <laughs> You're in the right spot, brother. With these sand bass this time of year. Another double. Another double. Nice. <laughs> Big double. That feels like a double head shake. Oh yeah. <laughs> you just turn the handle back. Here we go. Yep. Go. Look at all the right. size of them fish. Oh, <laughs> oh you're alright. Alright. You got it? Well, yep. Look at the size of that thing. Hey guys, look at what you guys can win. <laughs> <laughs> right here. When I think. Sure. Sir? 
I don't think we ever caught any sandies that big no. up the river, did we? No. That's these that things five are, in one pass. These things are massive. And they're beautiful. You got it. couple of studs. Just like that. <laughs> More fish on? Yep. Let's see how many times in a row I can double. Uh huh. Two. This will be number three if there's double on there. Oh. I think this Debbie's hooked up too. Oh. Just two in a row. Another just stud of fish. Beast right there. Yeah, that's a beast right there. <laughs> now you just pooped on my boat. <laughs> Three. One more quick. Yep. Target did that one. Okay. Big one, fish. Nice. What happened last time? Ha 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 ha
Damn right. left. So lots of times too, if you if you hold that, if you kind of hold it up off the off the skin a little bit, you don't get all that red meat. A lot of that red meat comes off with the skin. Okay. But I don't really, I've never really noticed the taste on the red meat on the sand bass like I have on the and hybrid. So you can actually just get it in there and just hold that blade up just a little bit. Yeah. It comes out of there. Yep. Leaves a bunch of it on there. Yep. On the skin. Fair enough. Not the We're back here at the house now. I've got my fillets here, which by the way, I came home with like 10 bags of these <laughs> and there's 15 fillets in each bag or something like that. Maybe it's 20, I don't remember. Anyway, we came home with over 200 fillets. We've caught 100 fish and we're gonna prepare a few of these right now. I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of small portions and then I'm gonna go ahead and cook the rest of it up the same way. But uh, it's gonna be very simple and very easy. Now I'm putting down some foil on my cooker here because I'm kind of lazy and don't want to clean my cooker. I'm just going to put some foil down. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is going to be a super simple, very easy, ooh, <laughs> I just dropped it, very easy recipe. Um, we're going to do salt and pepper, just normal coarse ground black pepper here, some sea salt, and then some lemon juice here. And then I happen to find some of this lime juice in the fridge. We're gonna do a mixture of lemon and lime. And I bet you it's gonna be fantastic. Now you can add a variety of vegetables from bell peppers to um, onions like green onions and different things into this mixture. And it will do nothing but enhance the flavors of course. But um, you can eat this taco style for me. I'm just gonna eat it like a regular grilled piece of fish little rice on the side and chow down it's gonna be great let's uh get a couple of fillets out and get this rolling it's gonna be super simple look at that piece of white meat oh no oh. i like doing it on the foil and the disc cooker like this because i can keep that lemon juice down in there cooking right on the fish. We're very hot. Like I said guys, it's just a super simple, very easy recipe. And it's gonna be fantastic. And another thing you can do is you can do this on a pan inside, like on top of the stove. So very yummy. And you can also do it in on the grill and or smoke it. You can do a million different things. And I thought about doing this on the grill and giving it a pecan smoke just to help with some of the flavor but the lemon and lime juice is going to be very very nice here so you have to be careful this stuff kind of falls apart if you don't take care of it very well while you're grilling it so it's, it would go great in a taco with some fresh cilantro and onions um, but we're going to just do a little taste test right here yeah man the lemon and the lime back and forth. Oh gosh, that is awesome. And like I said, very simple and easy. Salt, pepper, lemon juice. I mean, how much easier does it get? Let's do one more here. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's hard to beat. That's 
fantastic. So next time you guys are out fishing, try this little grilled recipe right here for a quick lunch, snack, whatever. It took me less than 10 minutes from start to finish. Now that we're done here, let's roll into the outro that I filmed for this video. Bradley, this is what's called a hellbender. It's made by Hedden. And it's what I use to get the lure down to the fish. And what happens is this lure, it digs like this. Okay, this Norton hook only comes with a front treble hook and a back treble hook, but I take those off and I, I, on the front one, I open it up and I put in a three quarter ounce either bell sinker or actually this is like a Carolina rig sinker, but, or Texas rig sinker, but it needs to be there where it can, it can move and, and not interfere with the lure diving. And then on the back, I've got, should only be one swivel, but you know the problems we have with breaking off, so I have two swivels on there with a leader. But normally there's just one swivel, and it's attached to this back, uh, sna uh, what's that called? Oh, yeah, anyway, O-ring, <laughs> O-ring. And then from there, it goes out to the lures. And this is a, a small lure I got from a place called Brady's Bait Box, and I cannot remember the name of it, but it's a small, little underspin lure right there so you've got some flash there and this is a bonehead jig uh, bonehead tackle jig it's a little small fluke that they absolutely you saw how much they love oh, that they today love yeah. and then down here you have the uh, the pet spoon and this one's worn out this one's caught a few fish can you tell <laughs> yeah. just just a few but i tell you what lately i've noticed that the bigger fish were coming on this same spoon silver with a green back okay and they were just, I think you saw a couple of those lures before we lost them on the bottom, yeah. but they, they just catch them. And this is just a simple little loop knot that I tie to go to the first jig and then it comes down to the second jig. Okay. Uh, one of the problems that I've faced is that this is breaking off. Uh -huh. We saw that happen twice today. Yes. So what I'm thinking about doing is switching this to a three-way swivel okay. and using like 40 pound line uh -huh. off to this jig uh -huh. and then regular line back to that jig. Okay. That way, that one's the, that, that pet spoon's the deepest. So if I break it off, I don't lose the whole rig, which is a, is a great deal. We right. had that happen. And of course, William got one huge fish that broke off the yeah. whole leader. Yeah. And he said it, it, it nailed it. And we did actually catch a couple of stripers today, a couple of hybrids. So I, that's that place out there is known for the big fish. Yeah. We really do get into them out there Absolutely. on occasion. But you want to let about 100 feet of line out to get this down to 15 feet. Okay. And you saw those fish were in about 17 feet of water and they were stacked two feet deep when we were over. You saw the, the, the what I call it, the haystacks. Uh -huh. And it was incredible. And just, if you wanted to do this kind of reel, I found that a large, a large level wind reel is the easiest way to know how much line you're letting out. Because you just go back and forth and cross. Right. And we started off at about 10 which was good when the sun was low, but the higher the sun got, the more line we needed to let out. So I think there at the end, we were letting 13 or 14 passes mm -hmm. out to get that bait down deep enough to where the fish would take you. Right. But it was a great day. Absolutely. When I'm trolling like this, I generally use, it worked out well today too. I used two eight foot one piece rods, these Abu Garcia rods, the Altum rod. And then I used just a regular Abu Garcia heavy stick. Yeah go out to the one in the middle of the other one right there. Yeah. And it just it just works out really well. We have a lot of fun Absolutely. doing this. I mean we had at one point Debbie had a line out. You guys had we had five fish coming in at the same time. Uh -huh. So I mean if you find a good school stacked up you can clean up. We we had a hundred fish limit by 11 30, 11 45 yep. today. Yep. So it's it's an awesome way to catch them and it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. And the reason it works is, uh, we talked about this last time, is because the thermocline sets up. Yep. And once that thermocline sets up, those fish want that bait presented horizontally, mm -hmm. not vertically. So you've right. got to you've got to present the bait in a natural way. And I think anybody knows that. Largemouth bass fish, it doesn't matter what you're fishing for. If it's not presented naturally, the fish just aren't going to take it. Yeah. And I couldn't have said it any better myself. I can't can't add anything to that. He hit it the nail on the head, and so I was gonna explain some things but like I said you just you did it perfect and we had an amazing time and uh, guys I want you to go to his social media like the Irish or Texas and I want you to follow him on Instagram Facebook and what else you got that's it right? Instagram Facebook and LinkedIn okay and LinkedIn that's a new one to me yeah I want you guys to go there and give him a follow 
And I want you to follow my Instagram, which will be linked in the description below as well, and the, the channel as well, subscribe. And we're going to do a giveaway. So Absolutely. It's going to be... I don't awesome know who's going to have much more fun, us, <laughs> me, and you, or them. Right. We're, it's going to be a great time either way. We're going to catch some fish, no doubt. We're going to fill your freezer. And so we want to do that. And in Thank order, you. Yes, thank you. And in order for us to be able to do that, you guys have to go follow all of our social media. And you have to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and also leave a comment. And I will select a And subscribe to this guy on YouTube because <laughs> yeah. he needs it and he's awesome. <laughs> thank you. So we're going to we're gonna do that. We want to give back to you guys. And He's given so much to me, and I really appreciate that, and I appreciate the trips we've had so far, and I look forward to very many more. It's going to be a lot more. We're I'm gonna... still only 60 years old. I mean, I should <laughs> live to be about 100, so. <laughs> We're going to have a great time either way, and I hope that you guys will go and follow through with all those things. And, I mean, here's here's a quick look at the boat, too. I've, I've been wanting to do this. I've been meaning to do this. Awesome boat, and just great time you're gonna be comfortable you're gonna catch a lot of fish and she she ain't pretty but she's a war horse she's, <laughs> she, she's meant for work there's been thousands of fish caught out of this boat and this guy right here is one of the best in the business i promise you you will not be disappointed so once again i appreciate love you brother everything love you love you guys and we will see you in God just bless. a couple of days you got a second here yeah gracious heavenly father we just thank you for friends lord that come along from the most you know, unique places, Lord. And I thank you for every friend out there watching these videos. Father God, bless them, bless their households. Lord, keep them safe during this whole COVID thing. Lord God, we give you the honor and glory and praise for it's everything we have is from your hand. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you. You it, brother. I enjoyed it so much. I love you. Love you. And uh, in order, so I will announce the, the winner in the next video, because I'm gonna split this trip in half. We caught 100 sand bass and we're going to split it right in two. We had an awesome time, and I will announce the winner in the second part of this fishing uh, series on this video. Extravaganza. Extravaganza, and you guys uh, need to tune into that video as well, and you will find out if you want or not. And my favorite joke, the difference between an Irish wake, which is a party when somebody dies, and a wedding is one less drunk. <laughs> we'll see you guys in just a couple days.